Hi, this is Lynn Barrett, licensed clinical therapist and spiritual counselor, and I'd like to talk to you today about mindfulness and specifically about a myth that exists around meditation in general that I'd like to address. Now, if you clicked on this video, most likely you already know a little bit about mindfulness meditation or have some kind of meditation practice or have tried it in the past. I'm not going to go into details about what mindfulness is specifically, but we can sum it up by saying mindfulness is the practice of being in the moment, in the present moment, with awareness, without judgment. That's kind of mindfulness in a nutshell, and you can Google that and find out more as you're interested. But I'd like to talk to you today about something I hear so much in my practice when I teach classes or workshops to retreats, and that is that it's so easy for people to get discouraged in their practice because they say, I sit down and my mind is going a thousand miles an hour and it's just too hard. You know, I, I don't want to sit there and listen to my mind going a thousand miles an hour. You know, so they stop their practice and they're not meditating. So they're not getting the benefits of that meditation, right, of that mindfulness practice. And so I want to dispel that myth a little bit that our minds have thoughts going on in there all the time, all day long. It's just when we sit down to try to quiet our minds or even just observe our minds, we find out that we've got thousands of thoughts going through there at any given moment. They're just always going. We just notice it when we're meditating, so it's not anything new. It's happening all the time. We just keep ourselves busy so we don't notice it. So, you know, what mindfulness does is it helps us be aware that all those thoughts are going on in our minds and it helps us practice not being attached to those thoughts that are going on in there. For example, if I'm sitting at my desk working at the computer and I have a thought going through my mind about the donuts sitting in the kitchenette down the hallway, I can be aware of those thoughts and remind myself, oh, well, A, I don't want to put donuts in my body. That's not the kind of food I want to eat. And B, I don't really even like donuts. So this thought is kind of useless to be going through my head and I can just gently sweep it out and move on. If I'm not conscious that that donut thought is going through my head, what's going to happen is it's going to cycle in and out of there over time and eventually I'm going to find myself walking down the hall eating a donut that I don't want, I don't even like, because our thoughts are that powerful and our thoughts influence our attitudes, our behavior, and so it's important to be aware of what's going on in there. Our, our actions and our attitudes follow our thinking. Our actions and our attitudes follow our thinking. And what mindfulness does is it helps us be aware of, A, that all that thinking is going on in there anyway, whether we're aware of it or keeping ourselves busy and not aware of it or not. So we might as well be aware of it so we can do something about it. We can make sure that it's affecting our actions and attitudes and ways that we want instead of ways that we don't want. You know, so just kind of that rule of thumb of whatever spends time in our heads is what guides the rest of us. Whatever spends time in our heads is what guides the rest of us. So pay attention to what's going on in your minds. You know, the practice of meditation helps us to be aware of those thoughts and to be able to bring ourselves back to our anchor, whatever that is. And, you know, that anchor means maybe we're focusing on our breath or a candle flame or a, an image, a picture, a word, a mantra. You know, we, we notice our thoughts are going out and then we bring it back to that anchor. It's kind of like lifting weights. We don't go to the gym and, you know, want to build our arm muscles and lift one weight for one repetition and think that we're done. It doesn't work that way. And just that's just true about our minds too. Our, our mind energy, our mind will is a muscle. It's an energetic muscle. It's not a physical muscle. It's an energetic muscle, but it's ours to, to build or to let go, you know? So mindfulness helps us build that muscle of focus and attention and awareness. And it's an everyday practice. We don't just like we don't go to the gym once in 12 years and think that we're done. It's an everyday maintenance thing. I 
usually use the analogy of it's like brushing our teeth, right? It's maintenance. It's maintenance for our mind, like brushing teeth is maintenance for our teeth. We need to keep doing it because we still have teeth and we need to keep doing our mindfulness and our meditation because we still have a mind. So it's a, it's a practice that needs to be consistent and ongoing. And the best thing that you can remember is that in a five minute daily meditation practice of mindfulness, of watching your thoughts, of having a focal point. In a five minute practice, if your mind wanders 1,000 times and you have to bring it back 1,000 times, then that's success because you're working to build that muscle. And so every effort that you make, gently bringing your mind back is a powerful exercise for your mind. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.